House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is now demanding that President Biden hand over his bank statements as more on Capitol Hill are calling for an impeachment inquiry of the president. Here's the House Speaker on Fox News this week. I think there's enough proof out there that this Biden family needs to come forward and show there wasn't a pay to play. America deserves more and Americans want to know. When you move to an impeachment inquiry, it empowers Congress, Republicans and Democrats within their subpoena to be able to get the answers they need. Because we have found time and again, we haven't seen anything like this since the Nixon administration using their government to shut down any time we had a question. I would think the Biden family would want to clear their name. Well, meanwhile, the White House is now accusing McCarthy of repeatedly lying. A spokesperson writes this, Speaker McCarthy has decided the truth should not get in the way of his and House Republicans' relentless efforts to smear the president. They are prioritizing their own extreme far-right political agenda according to the White House, at the expense of focusing on what really matters to the American people. Jonathan, what's your reaction to this? Because I would argue what matters to the American people is understanding whether or not there's corruption, but also uh, things like inflation. Absolutely. And we're not hearing anything about that from Biden either. He wants to continue spending money. Absolutely. And, I mean, that's all he's going to say. I mean, crickets from the left, crickets from Biden. Also, you know, to attack someone's credibility, to suggest that Speaker Kevin McCarthy is a liar, because he's, he's simply voicing his opinion about the, pre the president. Uh, you know, I think there's this sort of culture you're seeing from the White House increasingly targeting people who are speaking the truth about their administration, speaking truth to power. And, and I think it, it's critical uh, and it's, it's borderline tyrannical. Every time someone uh, tries to step up and say something uh, from your political opponents, you try to take them out of the game altogether, either by accusing the former president that, uh, of treason, a crime worthy of death, by the way, in this country, unprecedented, or, or uh, deciding that uh, Speaker Kevin McCarthy is a liar because he speaks his mind. Yeah, I, I have not heard the word treason in terms of a charge on President Biden, by the way. Uh, on President, uh, uh, former uh, President Trump. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, you know, Trump is now facing three indictments, mm -hmm. and what Speaker McCarthy is saying is the fact that this is a distraction. Mm -hmm. But very aggressive of the White House to call McCarthy a liar mm -hmm. in yes. the face of all of these bank statements that we've been getting. Uh, yeah, because there's the proof right there. Right. We can actually trace the money. And they went to Biden's with an S. You can't necessarily say Joe Biden, but they went to the Biden's. There's one account that's just named Biden. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah fascinating. But the other thing that actually... Uh, um, that I noted, and it upsets me, that statement that you just read from the White House, uh, Maria, that they would describe uh, what Kevin McCarthy is doing as, quote, his far-right agenda. Far-right? Oh, so lower taxes, smaller government, um, tough on the border, tough on crime, standing up for the integrity of this country. That's far-right? Yeah. I thought that was just called right, yeah. as in correct, yeah. not mm -hmm. far right. Exactly. Well, yeah. Jonathan, what do you make of this? Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell uh, told House Republicans to pump the brakes on impeachment talks. He told the New York Times this, quote, I said two years ago that once we go down this path, it incentivizes the other side to do the same thing. Impeachment ought to be rare. This is not good for any country, for the country. I mean, Jonathan, Mitch McConnell saying this is not good for the country. So what, what should they do then? Just ignore actual suggestions of bribery from the, the sitting president? You, you know, Murray, I have a, a great deal of respect for, for uh, uh, Mitch McConnell. That being said, he's completely wrong here. I, I just completely disagree with him. The number one priority, and his number one priority, is to seek justice on behalf of the American people. That's why he's employed. That's why he represents the American people. And people need to understand, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it may not be good for the country's feelings, but it's good for the country to understand what's going on and for people to be held accountable. And there's That's no suggestion that the reason that um, they're, they're doing this is because of, of what, ha what they're doing to Trump. I mean, it, they're doing this, the House Oversight Committee, because they've identified evidence Absolutely. In, in this realm. You know but, what else is not good? Yeah. A point you made, Maria, briefly. You said earlier that, look, what else is not good for the country is uh, these allegations into Biden's scandal. <laughs> Right. That's not good for the country, all the, the, the bribery. Yeah. So, you know, take it one at a time and be uh, impartial. And, it, it's incredible to me. These are such extraordinary um, charges, and the mainstream media will not cover it. 
Well, what was the wow. stat? Something like 433 minutes of coverage mm -hmm. in a week yeah. uh, on Trump by all the mainstream media networks versus five minutes yeah. on the Bidens. 433 or five? Yeah, but, but Brenda, in your world, you're talking to investors all the time. They're, they're not focused on this, right? They want, they want policy that's actually going to make their lives better. Are they getting it? Well, and that's the thing. No, they're not right yeah. now. So I, I think that coming into the election year, a lot of the things that I care about need to be front and center in a, a lot of the candidates. And, what and that's about. what? Growth. It's, it's growth. It's fiscal responsibility. Yeah. Uh, it is safety and security. It's all the things that we care about as, you know, Americans, but also investors. Yeah.